there were a couple things that I got wrong in my Laura training video. This is my look of disapproval. The first thing is the floating point math options that are in Koya. I set it backwards. BF16 for mixed precision and say precision is the one for RTX cards. FP16 is the older one. The reason why I said it wrong, because I wrote it in my notes that way, I saw it somewhere on a page, and I was searching all over, and this is my excuse. People don't explain things in a way that makes sense. For example, this Reddit page puts it in a way that makes sense only if you watch a whole lot of tech tuber videos every week, which I used to, not so much anymore that now that I am a YouTuber. He says, on recent NVIDIA GPU Ampere generation like A100 and 3090 RTX. What? What did I click? What is this? I have some random plugin I gotta get rid of that made it... Whatever. Boost both of them. On older ones, like whatever those are, BF16 is not supported, so life is easier because you have no choice. But I saw it somewhere the other way around, and I watched a bunch of videos, and there were two videos I saw where BF16 was correct. So the thanks for this goes to Chani3473 who left a comment and a timestamp. I love timestamps so people can click it and get the correction for that part of the video that they need. But basically, if you have a GTX 1000 series or below, you're gonna want to choose a FP16 for both of these. And again, just like I stated in the lower training video, mixed precision is the math that goes in when calculating the tensors and vectors in the LoRa, and the save precision is how precise it is saving the LoRa file itself. The second problem is an issue with my instance prompt. And it's, it's a weird thing. Brent had to hit me up on freaking Instagram because YouTube was disappearing his comments. Hey, I just watched a training video and I tried to comment on the video, but the comments keep disappearing. Basically, he pointed out where I put this in the video, I had it like this. And after a while, I remembered what had happened. It, it was me playing around with different LoRa's, and instead of going down into extended networks and clicking on it again, I copy-pasted the file name in, and I overwrote the colon. And he says, Realistic Vision, which is the model, knows Jennifer Lawrence, and using an underscore isn't enough to change the keyword. Which explains, at least in his opinion, why people put weird numbers in their freaking instance prompts. I, I hate the numbers, but I'm gonna do more testing on that in this video. I did move his DM to me because I didn't see anything doxing in it or anything, whatever. And, and he replied said that was me. Thanks for adding the comment. It's crazy. My son, who's a mod on my YouTube channel, sometimes his comments don't go through. And sometimes, even if I do this to my son, always approve comments from this user, his comments will still not go through. And here's my theory. YouTube has an algorithm to keep small channels down because they know their biggest algorithm for promoting growth is comments. So they have two competing algorithms. But that's just a theory. A YouTube theory? But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. This is my look of disapproval. So check out these results, which I was doing for a future video, and I thought, it was relevant to what we're talking about right now, where I was testing having the Laura training spit out a Laura file for every single step. And it does not look like her, but this Laura is for Adrian Paliki. I'll show you what she looks like. There's one picture in my, you know, training data set. There's another one. There's another one. And there's another one. See, this is a really good one to show her face features. And I was testing, and I had Adrian underscore Palinky in the prompt going out every single step all the way down till 89. You see, like, this one looks like her face, kind of, and that one kind of looks like her. But again, if I scroll all the way up to the top, it doesn't. And here's my theory. Because I had Adrian Plunky or however you say it in the instance prompt with an underscore but then I had the Laura the Laura overrode the instance prompt but since the Laura was trained barely at all it didn't know how to draw her face but here's another test where I just did Emma Stone with an underscore in between and it drew her face just like that it, it looks like Emma Stone pretty much so so far Brent on Instagram is correct but I've got some more testing I want to do. I've got these five LoRa files that I trained with the name of the LoRa file 
and the instance prompt with a different way. So one's like Emma underscore S-T-O-N-3, Emma underscore stone, like normal, Emma equals stone, Emma zero stone, and Emma dash stone. If you're not familiar with the instance prompt, it's put in when you do Laura tools, deprecated, Dream Booth slash lore folder preparation, you put it right here. Also, if I go into these training folders that I made, there's another thing I did. See, the uh, the one that's Emma equals stone has the instance prompt as a keyword in the prompt image. And I found out something else about the prompt keywords that you tag your images with in those text files. If you go to Laura training and then parameters and then look at network alpha, the higher this number is, the more it uses the weights in your prompt to use things inside of the Laura. So let's say the Laura had blonde hair and you put blonde hair colon 0.5. It's using the blonde hair that is inside of the Laura and the higher this number is means the more AI uses your Laura versus what it used in the model for making blonde hair. So I wanna do these as a batch test off of this because we know this came out looking like Emma Stone. And I'll show you guys a quick way to do it. Just get your command line open to this folder. You can go up here and hit CMD and hit enter. Or if you install the reg file I found, you can right click in an open space and click open command prompt here. And I'm gonna move these side by side and I'm gonna type the dir command, which, which means directory listing and put slash B, which means simple. It's gonna show the just the file and not a bunch of information about the file and then emma star dot star in this case. That means I know all the files I wanna list are started with emma, and then star means the rest of the file name can be whatever, it's a wildcard, and then dot means whatever the extension is is fine. Now I've also got the folders. So I have to do slash a dash d, I think? Yeah, that means don't show folders. D is for directories. And why they say not at the end is because I did not train them with Emma Stone's face. I trained them with Tina Fey's face. So it could be clearly visible to me when my prompt stopped using Emma Stone's face and started using what's in the Laura. And then take all of this and then we're gonna copy paste it in the notepad. We're gonna wanna replace the dot safe tensors and the underscore not because we're just gonna be trying to replace Emma underscore stone with these other results, see what happens. So I'm gonna grab all that, hit Control C to copy, and then Control H, which is the find and replace, and it's automatically put in there for you. Make sure this box is empty and hit replace all. Now I'm gonna press end on the keyboard, comma, delete, end, comma, delete, end, comma, delete, end, comma, delete. And since Emma underscore stone is my base comparison, I'm gonna put that first. So cut paste at the beginning, put a comma in between, click, press end on the keyboard and erase the last comma. Paste that in and press control enter to generate those five different images. All right, it's done. Let's bring it up and see how it looks. I'm gonna right click this and hit open in a new tab. Emma underscore stone, Emma dash stone, Emma zero stone, still looking like her. Emma equals stone. And Emma underscore stone with a three at the end does not look like her at all. So this is why people have to use freaking numbers in the freaking lore names for people. But this proves you don't need a whole freaking bunch of letters and numbers and crap making it hard to read. Like this Amber Heard and Angie, whatever this is. And Dakota Fanning, I can kind of read that. And Emma Stone, this, this is an Emma Stone one that I found. And this Jordan Jones, I think. The problem is I wouldn't remember how to write it. So at least that means I can put in the first name with the actual name and then something only a tiny bit crazy at the end so the model doesn't know what I'm talking about. But let's do the final test. Let's copy these Laura's over and look at all these tests. I've been doing different kinds of tests for an upcoming video where I'm having it spit out Laura's every so many steps. Get subscribed guys. And paste these lores over. Now they're over there. Stable Diffusion, Extended Networks. Go to the lore tab and hit refresh. Erase my previous search and I want Emma underscore stone for the first test with the knot at the end. And I'm gonna change the weight to 0.7 because it seems to the, the way I train lores, that's the highest I usually wanna go. 
and this should continue to work as it did before but also replace this Emma Stone because all my Lauras are named the same way. Control enter. Now again, I've trained these with the faces of Tina Fey, not Emma Stone. So that if it does listen to the Laura, it's the face is not gonna look like Emma Stone. What the heck? So this one's like a combination. So are these. That one's all her, all Emma Stone. And that, whoa, I just found hacks for combining faces. If you wanna combine two faces, sometimes you don't even have to train two different Lauras. Wow. Oh, but check out what else I learned this last week. I learned how to train Laura's for Stable Diffusion SDXL. I've got this one for Billie Eilish right here. And this image that you're looking at on the screen right now is Billie Eilish from a Laura that I trained in SDXL. It's not even upscaled or anything. It's the 1024 by 1024 data set of images I created and trained into it. So. If you want to see a follow-up video about how to take what you've learned in this video and the previous video about training Lauras and apply it to making Lauras for SDXL, tell me in the comments, make sure you're subscribed, and I get enough people in the comments, I'm going to make it more of a priority. And I'm going to show you one other thing that I'm working on for a future video, so check it out. I have Koya loaded up, and I've got my folder stuff set up, and let's say I'm just changing something like prompts, Jennifer Lawrence, obviously I'd put a three at the end in that case if I were to train it now, but this is just to show you something that I'm doing in my next video. Go to go over the parameters and set all your stuff up, make sure it's all right, and then you go down and hit print training command, and then what you get is this, and you copy it, and then go into this text file and paste it, and maybe you got three or five different ones you want to run overnight while you sleep, or maybe when you go to work, or actually live a life while your computer does a whole bunch of things for you. As long as you're careful and you have all of these set up the way you want, and then you hit convert lore training command VBS, it creates a batch file, lore training batch dot bat. And I'll right click that and hit edit to show you what it does. It starts the environment for Koya and everything. And then it does, in this case, I put three in there, one of three. Two of three, three of three. And obviously I would have different names for each one of these, but I'll copy paste this title line and show you what it does in command line. Paste. It changes the title up here. So when you check on your computer, you can check your command line window to see how many lures it's, it's finished training from your batch. But that's it for now. If you watched all of this without already watching my lore training video, how dare you? No, I mean, I'm kidding. You should watch that. I go over a lot of stuff that other YouTubers don't, and I actually watched about a dozen different videos to figure out all the steps. That's this card right here. Click over here for whatever YouTube thinks is best, and subscribe to the channel right here. All right, thanks. Bye.